This camera is for nosing. Then you don't make yourself look like the First Amendment. Then you don't make yourself look like the First Amendment. Georgia transparency went hot along with North Georgia audit. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to include smashing that notification bell right quick, fast, and in a hurry. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and head on over to North Georgia Audit's channel and uh, hit that subscribe and notification bell as well and let him know that GT sent you. We checked a few of the government offices in Leakin County, Georgia. All the staff were polite and professional. That was until we stepped into the sheriff's office where we met elective sheriff Paul C. Revere. Sheriff Revere did not want journalists with cameras poking around a publicly accessible building. According to Sheriff Revere, our cameras were nosy. Sheriff Revere stated that he is tired of the First Amendment and does not care about the law, the same laws that he swore an oath to protect. We found posted signs that quoted OCGA 42515. Being very familiar with this law, it does not specify cell phones or any other recording devices. This code section covers crossing the guard lines with weapons, intoxicants, or drugs without consent of warding or superintendent. Whereas this law appears to be for correctional institutions of state and counties. Is this signage up to deter people from reporting and or recording public and elected officials in public in the performance of their duties? Popular 11th Circuit case law, Smith v. Cumming, Georgia, supports that we are allowed to record our law enforcement in the performance of their official duties. Let's check out Lincoln County. It's the oldest record. Free candy. Oh, excuse me. That's cool, that this one. What year is it? You gonna laugh? <laughs> <laughs> 2020. COVID. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can we help you? Oh no, man! I'm just taking some pictures and video. For who? Oh, just like me and stuff. Yeah, it's all there. Cool. I did. And y'all doing this for y'all just doing this for for yourself? Yes, ma'am. May I ask why? Oh, just like press and stuff. For for press and stuff. News purposes. News purposes. Okay. Do y'all work for? A business or yeah, just like people? myself, independent. You're independent. Yeah. They're just independent people. Who are you speaking with, about it? Okay. Do what, honey? Who are you speaking with? Um, somebody works here at the courthouse. Uh, oh. Yeah, it should be okay. We're not doing any private areas or anything. Yeah. You're not. Hello. Oh, no, ma'am. Are you looking for something? No, ma'am. Uh, Miss Edmonds, uh, how are you doing? My name's Russ. Hey, how are you? Oh, good. How are y'all doing good. today?
The what? It says beyond that guard line, you can't use any cell phones or recording devices are prohibited. It says entrance. It says the, this is the visitor's entrance. That must be the lockup there for, I guess, when you get arrested or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be locked in the home probably. Ooh. That was like the lobby or whatever. Ooh, please read. Oh, it feels good in here. Cell phones are in Sir? Okay. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. But he got, he can't have it inside the building. Are you sure? Why? It's a sign out there telling you why. Oh, can I put in an open records request? Open record request. Yeah. Get on across the road and public on the public on probate court. For the sheriff's office, we do that over there? What you need to um, request? Oh, I want to put an open records request in for the sheriff's office. Open records. Yeah. And sir, the statute on that sign? Yeah, it's a sign. Yeah, the statute on it refers to guns. It doesn't refer to anything it's about cell phones or recordings. Cameras and everything on the sign right there, sir. It doesn't. Yeah, but, but the statute doesn't refer to recording. We just need to open records request, please. Please step outside. Oh, I'm just trying to put in an open records request right quick. What? An open records request? Yeah. And, and who are you? I'm sorry. Going. I'm the sheriff. You oh, okay. Going. And we have a sign out there that asks you all not to do that. Okay. Yeah, but we can ask, but as long as I'm not violating the law or anything. I mean, I just, I, I just want to put in, I, I just want to put an open records request in. I'm in public. You that's can put an open request. That's all I'm you trying don't to do. Have to do that with a video. But I want to do it with a video. Let, let me in for a quick second. We're allowed to, sir. I mean, that OCGA section is for I'm weapons and guns. Well, you should be. You're the sheriff. You've enforced the law. What have to do here for the sake and protection of then, our people? Oh, protect them. The oh, protect them. Video is ridiculous, and I don't care how you air it. don't make no big I don't care what you what, what about this camera up here, video and me? That camera up there is for security. Well, this is for the record not camera. That, this is for my security. That camera, this camera is for nosy. I know what you for nosy? are up about. We've run into people like you all before that What's don't people want like to me? and don't want to respect our asking you. We're not trying to. Well, sir, I well, sir, I we're well, trying to ask you for respect. Well, sir, I, I, I do respect you. I, 100%. Not I'm not. Don't do what we ask. That's not but I don't have order, to, sir. though. That's the thing. Is that it's not a lawful order to tell us to stop recording a public property. I'm not after. Order. You just admitted that that law does not. All does this. Not, Stuff. I'm just asking out of the goodness of my heart for you all to please do. If you would have got us our open records request, let us put in our open records request. We will probably be gone before. Oh, I am, sir. Sir, I'm just waiting for him to come back. I am putting it in. I'm just waiting for him to return. We're absolutely allowed to do it. Well, we can do all the Don't, don't quote me, law. Okay. Well, sheriff, I'm I can't tired. make you do anything that I'm you don't make yourself look like, sir. First Amendment folks. You're tired of the First Amendment. They are above the law. We're not above, not the, above the law. We're all on side, sir. And I'm tired of people side. not respecting our preferences here for the security of the people that we're we not, have. We're not a, a threat to your security, sir. It is when you, we absolutely when you record yours. and we ask you not to. We can record every bit of this from, from Google Google Maps. We can see every bit of your outside. Stand outside. Inside. We can open records request your security cameras at any time you want to. We sir. have don't mind if you're standing out in the road recording, but we respectfully ask that you not come in here to do it. Well, the law says that when we come here to conduct business, we are allowed says. to do this. There are a lot of things above the law and beyond the law. I'm asking you out of respect. I'm not asking you in no. accordance with the law. Respectfully, I think we're going to business. But you respect sir. my request. Respectfully, sir. I, think I don't like that. Business. I'm sorry. Well, I, if somebody asks me sir. to do something in a respectful way, I do my very best to follow what they ask. You know what I do? Parents, you know what I do? You all don't. I do, what I do is I obey the law for one. I obey the law. <laughs> and two, I hold bad cops accountable. You want to find out? Call Cummers uh, Police Department, Cummers, Georgia. They'll tell you exactly who I am and how many officers have been held accountable for bad moves that they've made, sir. So just to come in here and tell us you want us to walk away.
ask you. Good job, sir. We're not trying to enforce a law. We are hey, Sheriff, you. Sheriff, I mean no, Sheriff, I mean no Still disrespect. Still waiting on records request, though, right, Amos? Right? What'd they say to you outside? Uh, he said, I want to know, well, I went back to get that, that picture because I saw the, the sergeant walking up. He said, I want to know why these men are out here violating this. You passed the drawing line, threatening the jail and everything. I gotta run it back. I'm pretty sure he threatened, you know, like you're, you're violating. He definitely said you're violating that code. And then I told him that the code is not. We're not violating right. that. We're not violating yeah, that code section. Sure. Can I get an open records request? You have to mail a letter to the office and then it's going to Oh, no, sir. That's not how the Georgia Open Records Act works. Let me explain to you how the Georgia Open Records Act works. Um, I come in and I give a request. Um, according to the Georgia Open Records Act law, I can submit a request for what record I'm wanting for from the, from the agency here itself. So with that being said, you have to honor and take my request. If not, you have to mail it in. I don't have to mail it in. I can basically come in and provide it to you. We can provide it orally, sir. Tell you what they told me to tell Okay, you. well, then are, are, you a, are you a deputy? I'm um, just deputy jailer. That's deputy it. jailer? Okay. Is, is there a supervisor? Is there like a supervisor or somebody in charge? They, they, they're right there. Okay, well, then, um, please, I'm asking you. You took an oath. You took an oath. Just talk to him. He's I'm trying to put an open records request in. Hey, Sergeant. Um, I'm trying yeah, to. you guys are good. Listen. I'm trying. I'm trying to put an open records request in, but they're okay. not allowing me to do that. Because they don't do that. The jail staff. The person that does it is Miss Natasha Glaze. She's the administrative assistant for the sheriff. She's not in okay. at the moment. You'll have to see her. So if her door is open, she's there. Do you have her contact information and email? Just have to call the sheriff's office. I don't have her direct line number. So, but as far as what you guys are doing, you're fine. I, I, I knew. But as far as she's concerned, as far as the open records, we've got, got to see her, but she's not here. Um, Y'all might, and I know you talked to your sheriff, you might want to tell him to probably not say publicly, I don't care about the law. <laughs> that's <laughs> what he <laughs> said. I'm tired of the First Amendment. Right, so the lady that's walking across and the street. he's tired of the First Amendment. Ah, uh, he no, might well, not want to do the, that. We can't make him look like he didn't make himself look. Yeah. All I'm saying is this, he's just tired of this crap because it happens all too often. And sometimes, First Amendment auditors, are agitators. I'm not saying you guys are, but some are. But anyway, Miss oh. Blaze, that's Miss Blaze. So whenever she comes in, she's not going to come in right here. Mr. She'll, when the door opens, she'll be in the okay, office. Mr. Mr. Amos, yes, I, I merely just walked in here with a camera and then this I know you guys are fine. Can y'all, can we do something about changing that sign and then also educating the jail staff? Because if we're okay, okay to be in here. I already read that statue though. But, 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 but if we're okay, if we're okay in here filming, then that means anybody else is as well. Of course. Yeah, not well, just you me. You can see with your eyes, you can see with the camera. Other people yes, might sir. be misled by your sign though. Uh, we'll take we'll take care of that. But no, you guys are good. You're trying to film outside. You're good. It is what it is. I've been uh, I've been charged criminally charged with that with this same sort of thing. It's been dropped, and I'm getting ready to file a lawsuit. So I don't think I didn't think y'all were going to do that to me today. So no, I didn't think you're so. You're not you're not you're not doing anything you shouldn't uh, be doing. You're good. Thank you, sir. I really you're appreciate good. it. But like I said, when she opens that door, um, and she's back in the office. You'll have to see Miss Blaze. Um, okay. But what I will ask that is not public access which means it's not the lobby so they may ask you not to film other than what you can just see right there but stepping back in there sure, sure. that's not the lobby I'm sure she can come out here and that's exactly yeah exactly she's fine coming out because the lobby's the lobby and she, and she probably won't but I can let her know that you're here for that we're aware okay. of public offices and, and they say that's honestly the the, the, the quicker route to what everybody wants it's just for us to conform Open records. Y'all don't have an open records form? Like, almost every police department. Do we have a we, we, we should. So, typically, what happens for open records requests for us, we typically get them from lawyers' offices for their clients or whatever, things like that. Uh, very rarely do we have members of the public coming in asking for it. Like, if I, was, if I was locked up here and I wanted to come get my medical records from here, I'd have to do a public record. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so, things like that. But typically, the public doesn't come in and ask for that kind of stuff. So, we typically, the jail staff is not going to have that stuff. Just because they don't do that. <laughs> they're looking to code. Hey, 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 they're looking to code section up on the computer. So, but no, you guys, are, you guys are good. If Ms. Blaze opens the door, please feel free to ask her for the form. Otherwise, you guys are good. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. Hey, for like, get yes, the sheriff, like, he like he i don't know what i, I i'm not going to speculate i don't know what's going on but for an elected sheriff to say i don't care about the law mm. uh, it's an election year it, it, uh, it, 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 
Uh, I don't know if the people of Lincoln County is going to want to hear a sheriff say, I don't care about the law. And uh, that's that, those are his words, those are his words. I find a lot of people are not going to let it. Oh, oh, man. But, oh, well. But like I said, you guys are free to film in here. Thank you, sir. Um, I would just advise just for the sake of argument. So be on this point, point, be on this point, this side makes sense. Yeah. Point. That's a restricted area back there. Oh, can, we, can, no, we, can we get a jail tour with the camera? Probably not. Can we get um, one of those? I'm probably, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> probably not. Okay. Okay. Probably not. But no, open public lobbies, things like that, obviously, because okay. it's open to the public 24 7. So tell them we're sorry about any other complications no, we have before. We're not you, saying. You guys are good. If y'all need something, thank you, sir. Let us know. Hey, come here. Oh, you can't see it, I don't think, but. If you can see my screen. Did they look it up? Uh, yeah, 42515. They looked it up. They pulled it up. He was That's hot. Me, was that sheriff, yeah. He was hot. Uh, well, I let's see. If, I don't think she is. Either. She's like, I don't want to deal with them. Deputy Jailer, the faster you can get us a form, sir, the faster we're out of here. Ooh, water. This cold. It's clean. <laughs> we were right up, he been. This is the one Ben got trespassed. I think it was this parking lot. It was the same sheriff. It was him. Yeah. It was him on Ben's video. The trespass? Yeah, they, they, they kicked him out of that parking lot. I wasn't going for it as soon as he pulled up. And then Ben released his video. I mean, I was polite to him. I didn't come with Ben's on him. Yeah, they don't care. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get my open records request in. I'm not worried too, too, too worried about it. They're, they're hiding. <laughs> They're hiding that sheriff, that's for sure. That sergeant, he was like, Sheriff, sheriff let me talk to you outside for a minute. Come on, sheriff. <laughs> they got to keep they keeping that sheriff in check. <laughs> he does not want freaking cameras here. Like, what is what is the deal? But he said I'm tired of the Yeah, I heard him say that. Well, you know what? We're tired of these corrupt ass officials. Doing, 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 and thinking they can do whatever they want to do. Hey, so the open records request form, we at the sheriff's office don't actually have a um, dedicated form. Most people typically just hand write something out or type something out, and then of course we just abide by it. Yeah, according to the Georgia Open Records Act, I can write it on a piece of toilet paper exactly. and hand it to you. Exactly, exactly. yeah. And even yeah. further than that, if, if we can't just read or write, we, we can verbally give yeah. them open record request. Uh, how it, has to be, it would have had to been to Miss Blazier. She would have to take it personally. So. Oh, yeah, of course. So so just want to let you guys know, we don't actually have a form that some agencies do. Yeah. We're a small real agency, so we don't deal with a lot. Normally, like I said, attorneys will type their stuff out on their letterhead and send it for their clients or whatever and we just do you know let me let me ask you a question yeah, brother, be honest with me yeah, be 100 percent honest with me you ever seen that video when joe biden gets off the helicopter and he keeps walking and you see secret service agents pointing him that away but he keeps walking straight mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. y'all gotta do that with the sheriff coming in the door no we don't <laughs> we don't we don't he's a pretty um He's feisty. He's a he's feisty that he is that's that's why he's loved around here he's a 30 year retired school teacher Ooh. 25 years as a corner before he was elected. So he's born and raised around these parts. Ah, cool beans. So, yeah. If you guys need something else, no, just, just let we would have, yeah, we, go ahead. What we would check on yes, in the future is going to be those signs. So now that we have documented, we have come to a, a, an agreement yeah. essentially that those signs, one, are not constitutional, and two, can't be backed up by law. So okay. not the law that you have attached to it. We'll, uh, that code section, now if I walked in there with a pistol, or a knife or, or drugs or you know something like that oh yeah yeah you probably have uh reasonable articulable suspicion in pc to charge me with a crime you, you would and i'm not going to argue that oh. i ain't gonna argue that 100 percent. no but simply merely with a camera we'll uh no we'll, we'll uh definitely address that we'll, yeah uh, 
Well, uh, it'll be addressed, I promise. How long have you been with the sheriff's office here? I've been policing 22 years. Well, I meant with this office here. Here, I've been here for just over two. Uh, were you here? Years. Were you here when my buddy got trespass? I think trespassed from here. A little short guy Ben. He was out here recording. Sheriff was out here. Oh, that over there? Um, no, I was not. It I may have been. Well, yeah, I think it was over there in front of the uh, patrol division where I work. Um, no, I think I wasn't here. No, I was in Wilkes County still when that happened. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I did see the video. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah you th see these too. so I thought maybe. So I thought maybe. Uh, you know, maybe the sheriff would have learned from that one that uh, you probably shouldn't go on camera saying I don't care about the law and I'm tired of the First Amendment. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's not a thing. So, uh, and, and you know what I'm tired of then? <laughs> I'm tired of police unjustifiably shooting people. Yeah, that could through, be through the investigation, and then the police officer gets goes to court and gets convicted and goes to prison for 30, 40 years, you know, just for, for unjustifiably shooting somebody. I'm tired of that. You know, I, I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of, of police just beating people up. The world just, is uh, topsy turvy, that's for sure. But uh, okay, yeah, I don't take no more of your time. Go cool beans. Sheriff Revere made statements that contradict the oath he swore to uphold. An elective sheriff is the prime person that should be protecting the rights of the people and not ignoring it. Sergeant Amos stepped in and corrected Sheriff Revere's behavior. I'm curious if Sergeant Amos told the sheriff to go get a cup of coffee or take a nap and I'll talk to these two. I believe Sergeant Amos did a pretty good job adjusting the sheriff's uh, direction. Make sure to head on over and check out North Georgia Audit's channel and let them know GT sent you. Until next time, GT is going cold.